Hi guys, it's Matilda, obviously, and you know that because you're on my channel. And today I'm going to answer a bunch of M to F hormones questions, which means like basically I'm going to answer a bunch of questions regarding the hormone replacement therapy. And if you're new to my channel, I'm transgender, so which means that I was born a male and then I ended up transitioning into the woman I am today. So today I'm just going to answer a bunch of questions regarding the hormone the hormone replacement therapy. So yeah, if that is something that interests you, keep on watching. But before we get into this video, don't forget to follow me on my socials. They're all down below, fun time, fun time. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's also down below. You really help a girly out by clicking that subscribe button. You know, it's down below. Click it, click it, thank you. But now let's get into all of these questions. So yeah. <laughs> So before we get into all of these questions and answers, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you have no idea what Skillshare is all about, it's an online learning community where you can take thousands of different classes to learn new skills or be better at the skills that you're already good at. And if you've been on my channel before, you know that I love. I love Skillshare and one thing that I specifically love about Skillshare is that they actually will send you an email with like recommended classes specifically made for you which is just amazing and some of the classes that I've been taking is one with Photoshop which I recommend that one was amazing you can see it here on the screen and another with like how to be better at Instagram I can also put it here on the screen and the class that I've been taking right now is called find your style five ways to unlock your creative identity and we're in this you know panoramic right now we're indoors and sometimes I I love being creative however sometimes I can't really get my mom flowing you know so this class is really helpful so I truly recommend that one I can also put it here on the screen as before and since Skillshare is actually made specifically for learning there are no ads whatsoever no ads ads. You heard that? You heard that correctly. And also it's less than $10 a month. However, the first a thousand, the first a thousand people that will click the link down below in my bio, down below, the first a thousand will get a free trial premium membership on Skillshare. So, you know, click it, click it. Thank you. And also thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. But now, Let's get into all of these hormone replacement therapy questions. So I have all the questions here on my phone. I'm just going to get into it right away. So the first question is cost of hormones. I mean, this is a pretty different from country to country. I live in Sweden, so it's pretty cheap here because we because we have free healthcare. However, it's pretty it's a long process to get on the hormone replacement therapy. We have this long process and we need to talk to a bunch of psychologists and it took like 3 years until I'm until I got on hormone replacement therapy from when I first started talking to a therapist. So the process is long. However, when we finally get on the hormones, it's pretty cheap. Um, it's around like $40 for three months. So every three months I get my hormones and that's around $40. However, it gets like cheaper and cheaper every time I get my hormones because just like that's how it works here. So the first time I get it, it's like $40 to $50 and the next time it's like $30 to $40 and the last time it's like $20, $20 to get my hormones for that time period. So yeah, but let's move on to the second question and that is the dangers of hormones. I can put it here on the screen, some of the risks that can happen. However, I just want to let you know that it's incredibly minimal. And especially if you're young, if you're older, um, these risks are higher, of course. However, I just want to let you know that it's you can talk to your doctor if you're scared of any side effects or risks and yeah, it's pretty minimal. However, it's still, it's, it can still happen. So it's an important thing to talk about. Number three, which is what is best to be on pills, injections or gels when it comes to hormone replacement therapy. So I am on gels. However, in the beginning I was on pills. However, my doctor told me that I should probably switch from pills to gels because 
it can actually hurt the liver if you're on pills for too long so I've been on gels for like six years or something like that and here in Sweden we're not really offered injections it's either gels or pills for the most part and pills are specifically only for like the beginning and then you switch from pills to gels so yeah <laughs> if that if that makes sense so in the beginning I was on testosterone blockers pills and estrogen pills and then I had my bottom surgery and now I'm only on estrogen gels which I put on my thighs and that kind of brings me to the fourth question which is how often do I take these gels so I take these gels twice each night and I, I'm gonna show you wait so here here's some gels divid gel they're called and these kind of looks like this and you just like open it up and then you like squirt it all over your thighs and then you massage it in and you put two of these on every night so yeah divid gels they're called let's move on to number five first change on the hormone replacement therapy so i can show you a few pictures here on the screen me prior hormone replacement therapy and me after going on hormone replacement therapy oh my god it's such a long sentence but yeah the hrt so here's me prior and here's me after and the first change i believe is like my face I think I saw a difference in my face first. Um, I remember a few people telling me that I looked more like a girl after being on the HRT for a few months. And then kind of, I think my breasts started growing and I remember, you know, a lot of things happened. However, the first change I remember was my face. I think it got like a rounder shape to it and more like a feminine more like feminine looking uh more fat in certain places in my face so yeah i think that was the first change i remember of me going on the hormone replacement therapy and now the last question for today can cis people take hormones either to grow their breasts or just to be prettier no you cannot I mean, if you're in your menopause, you can be on hormone replacement therapy like to regulate your hormones better and be happier. However, if you're in, if you're just like a, a normal girl, <laughs> normal girl, you shouldn't be taking extra hormones or extra estrogen to get bigger breasts or whatever. It doesn't really work like that because your body is filled with estrogen as it, as it is. So it's not going to change. Your body will just have too much hormones or like too much estrogen in it and it can actually hurt your body. So if you wanna grow your breasts, you can't take estrogen supplements to get them bigger. It doesn't really work like that, so no. Cis people without a doctor's consent shouldn't be taking extra estrogen. But yeah, I think that was all of the questions, or I know that that was all of the questions for today. However, if you have another question you would like to ask me, you could just like comment below and I will answer them in another video. And before we say goodbye, don't forget to click the link down below. The first thousand people to click it will get a free trial premium membership on Skillshare, so you know, click it click it. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and also use the little bell icon to get future notifications whenever I post. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.